<laughs> Welcome back to Little Snickers, baby. I'm Michael fucking Rainey here with Jean-Benet Dalcalo. Hey, it's John Dalcalo again for all you fucking suckers out there. <laughs> Jacob Matera. Hey, yo. Danny Dubs. We're back, bitch. What'd you I, just say? I'm considering meeting Hulk Hogan when I go to Florida in a couple weeks. You and should. how can that just happen? He owns a store called Hogan's Surf Shop, maybe, or Beach Shop or something uh -huh. in Clearwater, Florida. Damn. And for $200, you could have a meet and greet with Hulk Hogan. Any That's day it? of the week. No, it's okay. March 18th. <laughs> just happens to be while you're there? Yeah. He doesn't do it like weekly. You're just lucked out. I did. Could Good you for imagine? you. I just noticed it the other day that he posted on Instagram saying that he's going to be at the surf shop and for 200 smackaroos, yes. you could meet the Hulkster. And if I do, I already planned on what I'm going to say to him. Let's hear it. I'm going to say, Hulkster, I know you got 24 inch pythons. By your estimation, how big are these pythons? <laughs> That's a good one, man. I'm asking y'all, too. No. Oh, How oh. big do you think these um, pythons are? 24 inches? Let's see. You touch it if you want. I don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'd say you got, you got some, dude, some dubs on you, dude. 20 at least. Oh, that's very kind of you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm not saying they're strong, but... You should, uh, wear, you should wear the one round. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you a big Hulkster fan, or, or as much as you're a fan of just not having two hundred dollars? <laughs> <laughs> Hulk was my favorite wrestler when I was a little boy. Okay, I didn't follow him to uh, when he was in NWO. Okay, that was to me it was a bastardization of Hulk. So gotcha. I refuse to acknowledge that. However, yeah. when he was the Hulkster, I loved him, and that were some that was some of my fondest memories when I was a child. My dad would take me to the Spectrum nice. to watch wrestling. And boy, did I love wrestling. Did you go around, what was there in around 95, 96? No, that was after my time. I okay. probably went late 80s to early 90s. Gotcha. Okay. I what would have what would I have been taken to at the Spectrum in one of those years? Would it have been just like the, the regular Raw that happens every week? Or is it like, would it, did I go to WrestleMania? I don't remember if you it was probably like a big went to like I remember at that time they had like their own WWF events mm -hmm. that were like uh, just like not televised events going through the Spectrum too. Oh, yeah. I don't know I if it was televised, but like the Sting, Undertaker, like all the big dogs were there. Well, I was just going to say that I know that during that time period, they would often let people into the arena. And by people, I mean very dumb children. And convinced them that workers arguing were wrestlers. <laughs> so you were probably a part of that crew, John. Okay. <laughs> Just probably high off popcorn. <laughs> so you should probably. wear your perk jersey to meet Hulk and just have him fucking rip it open for you. I would be too embarrassed that I couldn't pull it off. Have, have him do it for you from outside. You know he does that snip at the top, dude. That's he does not, do. not the Hulk. He yeah, could, he could do it, though. I, I realize he probably does do the snip. But at the same time, though, he's also an incredibly strong man. The yeah. collar is what you got. I mean, that's rough. Yeah. That's, that's a different kind of a uh, ribbing. When mm -hmm. you got to do it every night, th I mean, I get that. It's like work smarter, not harder, you know? <laughs> you think he wasn't strong enough to wear his own t-shirt? No, I'm saying... I'm going to tell him you said this. No, yes, please don't yeah. tell him I said that. I'm going to FaceTime you, and I'm going to tell him that you're a comedy pig, <laughs> and I'm going to give him your address. Don't and technically, it. Jake will owe him $200 after that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, do I have to pay that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's your whole. No, time, you got to make him Venmo him while he's on the line. All right, Jake, can you call John from your phone so that John <laughs> yes. is now on the hook for two hundred bucks too? Whatever. <laughs> all right, but I do want to do something nice for Hulk. I, I do want the money to go to a good cause. I know he's got to make up for all that money he had to put out for using the N word on tape. So I'm trying to help him. What is his business? It's a uh, like a show business souvenir <laughs> store or a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like tchotchkes and and t shirts and shit. All Hulk related or like some Florida shit that like doesn't even say Hulk on it? No, knockoff Disney shit. What do you think, Dick? I bet you there's knockoff Disney, should, yeah. Disney shit there. There's knockoff Disney shit everywhere in Florida. It's, it's a shame he doesn't sell like hoagies and just calls it hoagies. Ooh, Heroes, that's great. You know? 24 inch hoagies? Yeah. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah, good. I know. I'm an ideas yeah. man. I Can I get a, a skip large? Skip the bicep joke and give him some serious businessman yeah. notes. Mm -hmm. Can I have a, a, a large python, please? <laughs> yeah. uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. You got to rip the paper off yeah. of it. Can I get two Oh Yeah Brothers on that? You feel like you can't it's finish the mayo. whole thing, but then like the last end of the sandwich gives you such bad angina that Hulkamania starts running wild. <laughs> what's angina? You never heard of Ajita? Yeah, what's... <laughs> I don't, I'm lost with this. Okay. I will say that. Thank it's uh, Let's stay lost together. Yeah. <laughs> don't let go. It's like throat chaos. Throat chaos? <laughs> I don't know the medical description of it. Oh. Is it a that disease like a or porn a stars? No, no, no. It, it's what you get. It's like indigestion. Oh, okay. Ajita. 
And that was the, <laughs> I feel like that only comes from the fountain drinks at Hulk's Hero, Hogan's Heroes uh, restaurant. That will give you the Hulkamania, the fucking soda. Oh, brother. <laughs> cocaine was my Hulkamania. I love that shit. Yeah? Yeah. Did he uh, get busted for doing cocaine? He seems like he was on cocaine. For... He probably was, but he didn't get busted for it. Um, I think he just got busted for that N-word and that sex tape. Yeah, I think Thunderlips got arrested for cocaine. Who's Thunderlips? <laughs> Is that from Salute Your Shorts? <laughs> that's, what he, that's who he plays in Rocky Three. Oh. That was the first villain before oh. um, Mr. T comes out. Okay. He has to fight Thunderlips. Do you guys remember No Holds Barred? No. He, I don't know if he fights Zeus or Zeus is just in that movie. But that was Hulk's movie. Zeus? Like the Greek god? The wrestler Zeus. I don't remember Zeus. I don't, actually no, I think he was, um, it's a uh, fucking Tiny from, from Friday. The weird eye guy. Ebo. Lister. Oh, tiny. Lister. Yeah. Yeah, but he plays Zeus. I don't know what you guys are talking about anymore. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to flip the coin. Before you do that, I just want to shout you out, man. I was so impressed with your presentation last week on the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood watch along. Thank you, buddy. That really, yeah. it was like it was like watching the Jordan flu game. Yeah. Oh, thanks. It was really remarkable to watch. And it sounds like because I had, you didn't think I could do it, but. <laughs> no, but I just didn't expect you to be that. That knowledgeable, that insightful, and have such a joie de vivre. So engaged. For the movie. I don't know what that means, but it sounds nice. What does that mean? It is French for the word uh, that I promised you I wasn't going to say anymore on this podcast. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. That was a blast. I hope people enjoy it. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, feel free to join the Patreon and listen to our first installment of Little Stinkers Go to the Movies, where we watched... Once, lot, once upon a time in Hollywood. Let's do it, baby. Let's flip this fucker. Oh, dude, you know what's happening this week? What is? You guys see the fucking what? the promo pics? What? No. It's Mayor Week on Impractical Jokers. I did see that, oh. yeah. So maybe this isn't my week, but hopefully next Whoa, week is my and week. You're, you're wearing a Mayor shirt, too. I am. This is a big fuck, shirt. This is All weird. Right. Mr. Mayor. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Ah, not this week. I suck my dick. Woo. Maybe next week. <laughs> Boys, tonight we have an honest to goodness moron for our second night. <laughs> oh no! I was so it's been excited. a while since we've had a fucking dent head. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a true tried and true dent head, brother. <laughs> he had uh, there are pictures, plenty of pictures of him with his mouth open, <laughs> and that warms my heart. I find myself leaving my mouth open <laughs> in more photos. Oh man! Just in life. <laughs> Jake mentioned earlier how he fell asleep with his mouth open last week. Oh yeah. No, I don't think I have a more comfortable position than with my new knee pillow under me and my <laughs> mouth open. That's a beautiful thing, Mike. Thank you, Jake. Yeah, I can see that. Yep. But this moron's name is John Straffen. For a second, Never I thought you were going to say Del Collin. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I'm so dumb, I don't even know you're talking about me. <laughs> this guy sounds fucking dumb. <laughs> Yeah, this fucking moron was born February 26, 1930 in Hampshire, England. Is that today? That we're recording this? This is 2023, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> no, the day. I mean, are we recording on his birthday? Today's no, the 28th. Ah, uh, okay. Damn. Mm -hmm. That would have been crazy. So get this. His father, John, also named John, was in the army. What are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> and from the ages of two to six, little John to the windows to the wall was living with his parents in India. Hmm. While in India, he contracted something <laughs> called encephalitis. Do you fucking retards know what that is? That wasn't nice. And no, I don't. Yeah. Now, I have to be honest with you. I didn't at first either. No shit, Mike. <laughs> I misinterpreted it for being a waterhead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which is an actual condition, which is called hydrocephalus. Okay. Oh. You ever see waterheads? No. I know the term gets used inter interchangeably with retards, but waterhead is a real thing, and these motherfuckers have watered up heads. Uh, is it like, um, is it like elephantitis head or something? Kind of. Okay. It's, um, it's like giant brain boy. Is that a cartoon? It should be. Okay. I think but you've, you've probably seen pictures of some of these fucked up kids. You know, you'll be scrolling through Facebook and you'll be like, why am I being shown this? And it'll say, like, Jesus for kids with fucked up brains. Mm -hmm. 
It's one of those. Gotcha. That's what hydrocephalus is. Now, encephalitis, it's typically caused by a viral infection, which translates to an inflamed brain. Damn. Ooh. Cypress Hill made a song about it. Inflamed in the brain. brain. Inflamed in the brain. No. No. <laughs> you almost got it. I was close, man. <laughs> so his cerebral cortex was severely damaged. Okay. Which is the outer layer of the brain. So true brain just an damn honest to goodness dildo for brains 1938 when he's eight they moved back to england to an area called bath somerset okay when's the last time you took a bath <sighs> pre-covid for sure mm -hmm. yeah but it was a, i enjoyed it last time i did it that's for sure had a little joint next to me that is nice watch yeah. some entourage i'm sure do you put your hair up into a wet bun when you take a bath it might have been before I had long hair, but I would. I might even wear a shower cap. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wear a shower cap. Oh, I can picture that. Don't. Jake, what about you? Stop. Do you jerk off in the bath? <laughs> I don't jerk off in the bath, but I think the last time I took a bath was at the Taft Museum. So uh, they have a bath there. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck <laughs> are you talking about? William Taft, the, the president. I got you, Jake. Thank you, Danny. He's the only president that we're aware of that got stuck in the tub. I didn't uh, know that. Yeah, this big, is exciting. A big old fatty. And... uh <laughs> Yeah, the tub is on display at the museum. Mm. So I'd actually I'd, how I'd, polite of them. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the last tub I've been in. Yeah. Did they have to amputate the tub's feet? <laughs> <laughs> it lost one of diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> but I I can't talk too much shit. I actually brought the sodas, but I forgot to bring them in for you guys. But I brought Peeps Pepsi. Have you guys had that oh. yet? Oh no. You made me try it last week, and it was awful. That's right. I did give you one. Yeah, it was terrible. Sounds it, bad. What does it taste like? Like an Indian basketball game. <laughs> Um, Native American? Nope. <laughs> okay. Truly the worst thing that I've ever tasted, and I've tasted my own cum. What? I don't think cum's probably that bad. A lot of people drink it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Peeps Pepsi is the worst. And uh, yeah, but our buddy John Straffin moved back to England, Jake. Okay. And when he's eight, he's a little bit of a bad boy. He's a dumb bad boy. What's he doing? He gets caught stealing and he's truant a lot. Okay. He goes to court and the judge sees him and he's like, he's like, all right, I'm going to give him probation, but he clearly has no concept of what probation is. Okay. He, he can tell by looking at him. He can tell. Yeah. So what, this kid leaves the house to go to school every day and just mm -hmm. wanders away from the fucking wagon stop. Just a little dumb bad boy. Yeah. And so he, he, he does what he wants. And there's no programs at that point probably, right? Well, there is. Okay. That's funny you mention mm. that. That's really funny you mention that. Okay. I love that joke <laughs> that you just made, John. Joke? Did I misinterpret that? Pro a program? A special program? Yeah, there's a special program. Guess what? When he's uh, adjudicated by this judge, he is certified as mentally defective, Jake. Damn. Yeah, there's something called the Mental Deficiency Act of 1927. And he meets all the criteria for that. Imagine being labeled as mentally defective, officially. I think I already am. Yeah. I mean, we are all yeah. on this podcast. But imagine having the fucking a state. Yeah. A stamp I on your forehead. <laughs> well, that's rude. <laughs> now, would that help you when finding a job like EEOC? Or would that hurt you because of incompetence? Say those words. Don't spell them. Yes, please. E -E Equal opportunity... Employer charisma. It probably would, Jake. But one thing that it does is it classifies him for special schooling. Now, at this point, he tests for an IQ of 58. Oof. That's not good. Nope. So this motherfucker can tell you what every window in that town tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> like his favorite color. <laughs> Clear. <Yeah. laughs> So he's sent to a school called St. Joseph's School for Mentally Defective Children. And there's got to be a nicer name that they could have gave that fucking place. <laughs> the English are blunt. The whole, the whole building's made of glass. <laughs> they might as well have called it Professor Pumpernickel, Pumpernickel's Retard Zoo. <laughs> oh, God. It's like the asylum version of the X-Men movie. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's in wheelchairs. <laughs> so he sent Professor Pumper Nichols Retard Zoo. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's there when he's 10. 
He's he's still there four years later. He gets in a little bit of trouble, Jake. What do you think he does? I'm going to guess just, you said he was truant a lot. So, yeah, maybe just kind of skipping school, mm -hmm. you know, being a real bad boy. He gets in a little bit of trouble, and the man that reprimands him at the school is a school administrator. And in response to that reprimand, our buddy John strangles this man's two prized geese. <laughs> With, on okay. purpose. So he's yeah. got a vendetta. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> he he's not that dumb. The guy can tell who what love is. He yes. <laughs> <laughs> we know it was it was out of anger he strangled the geese. He wasn't just trying to pet them. No, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was a full on Homer Simpson why you little. <laughs> Both of them. Were they just roaming the campus? Freely? I don't know, man, but it, they were prized geese. These weren't just regular <laughs> ass. You did say prized. I'm, I a, didn't geese. I'm a geese. I'm a geese. What but, makes a geese prized? Uh, they're very good at uh, pageantry. They have they have geese pageants, Jake. Okay. They come out in little yeah. swimsuits. They come out. They answer questions about different countries. They do song and dance routines. Honk, honk. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, typically, the goose with the biggest honkers wins. <laughs> so it's a lot like the Miss Universe pageant, Jake. Okay. And I know. What what is your dream? I know you love big titties. <laughs> what is your dream relative to yes. big titty observation? I mean, I can't say. I, you can <sighs> say it. We're all friends here. I mean, just being in a room. A titty scientist you know? would that work for you? Yeah, yeah, that would help. Titty physicist. Titty physicist. Yeah. I said along the lines of where my titty dreams go. Really? Yeah, I'd You're say my boy? my titty dreams are probably to judge a um uh wet titty contest in a low gravity environment. I gotcha. Hopefully on the moon. Yeah. Hopefully. You know, I know good. I'm going to live to 110 years old. Thanks to Elf Bar keeping me off these cigarettes. You might be the first moon pervert. <sighs> well, yeah, obviously because we haven't gone yet. Mm -hmm. So, if I'm, shit, if I'm first there, I'm the first moon pervert, that's for damn sure. You might be the first overweight person on the moon. <laughs> you would be fucking Neil Whoa. Veal Parmstrong. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to put Neil in there. <laughs> <laughs> I did, because that's what you're going to be doing up there. Oh, okay. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so when he's 16, he's still being a bad boy. He gets a job. He's a machinist, Jake. And you know, they're all psychopaths. Jeez yes. Christ. They actually are. Did you ever see that movie, The Machinist? Mm -mm. It's fucked up. I haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. That's where he lost all the weight, right? Should yeah. I go on that diet of cigarettes and apples? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a machinist diet? That's what Christian Bale ate. For the, for the role. He ate cigarettes? Mm. <laughs> Just hack a day. It's because he got caught by the director. <laughs> <laughs> Made him eat the whole fucking pack. <laughs> and he was smoking the apples. <laughs> <laughs> so he's getting worse. Not only is he dumb, but as evidenced by the goose killing, he's got a little mean streak to him. And in 1947, when he's 17, what do you guys think he does? Probably causes a pretty nasty workplace accident. Ooh. That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think what do you think he did, Jake? I'm hoping just you know <clears throat> another animal, probably probably a bigger animal. What he did was what had happened was he approaches a thirteen year old girl in his town and says, What would you do if I killed you? Hmm. Jesus. Small talk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this girl tells her dad. The dad confronts him, and as a result, he kills five of the dad's chickens. Well, all right. Wow. So mm -hmm. I was right. Yeah, you were. Wow. Congratulations. Um, thank you. <laughs> it's the IQ level. <laughs> we're on the same wavelength. 58, you said? Yeah. I got to imagine, uh, is is the Cockney accent in England know. basically just for, like, poor people? I don't know. Is, like, the rich people kind of from England kind of talk more along the lines of the Queen? And then if you're from, like, the countryside, is it, like, the rural accent that we have? I could picture that. I'm not certain, but that sounds correct. But he probably sounds, he probably talks like the dumb-sounding people. From when I was over there, it seemed like the further away from London you got, the crazier the accent got. Yeah, like Ooh. wild sounding, like not prim and proper. Like yeah. Liverpool yeah. was kind of like a, a 
chunky accent. Okay. Control. Yeah, for the Beatles. Prim and proper is my favorite uh, ventriloquist act <laughs> in England. <laughs> that would actually That's be a, a name. great name. <laughs> No, you should tell that to Hulk Hogan. He can maybe ha make that happen. <laughs> I am not going to leave that store. <laughs> it's just going to take up every fucking second of his time. He is going to have to wrestle me out of that goddamn oh surf God. shop or whatever the fuck he's got going over there. Hulk Hogan's fucking N-word emporium. <laughs> <laughs> Do they give you like a stipulation on time when you like buy it? Is it like you get three minutes and like one picture, one autograph? Or the only thing that I saw was that you're entitled to one picture and I think you could have two items signed. Okay. Damn. So that's that's enough time as to where you could have a little bit of a conversation. Yeah, you're definitely going to have a back and forth. And it is fucking 200 yeah. bucks. A Hulk Hogan signed on perks. Oh my God. I should give him a copy. I should do this. Absolutely. Yeah. He's, he's definitely been on perks. Yeah. I would hope so. Man. He's had a lot of muscle injuries, probably. Mm hmm. You know what muscle injury he had the worst of? His nose. <laughs> hey, you devil. <laughs> is that what you were going to say? I have no idea what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you guys would say something funny. I thought it was going to be something <laughs> sex-related with John's mom. That's why I thought you were Oh, uh, I should have, yeah. No, you shouldn't have. It was good without it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your mom snapped into my penis like a Slim Jim. R.I.P. Randy Macho Man Savage. <laughs> no, it's not even the same fucking wrestler. Jesus Christ. What was his name, Jake? Randy Poffo? Was that his real name? I think it was, yeah. I thought Savage was his actual name. He was, um, I think his brother was Leaping Lanny Poffo. I think they're the Poffo boys. What the oh, fuck shit. are you guys talking about? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Randy Poffa. I believe that was his full, his real name. But he was a baseball player as well. Really? Yep. Wow. In what sense? In college? In what sense could a person be a fucking? I baseball was a fucking player baseball today? player too, Mike. He at least made the minor leagues. Okay. But he—that's the kind of question or answer I was looking for. Okay. All right. Jesus, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> the macho man. He's playing minor league baseball. Strike three. <laughs> Shit down, Randy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you might want to consider a career change. <laughs> that would have been a lot of fun, though, if you're an umpire arguing with him. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me tell you, that was in the strike zone. I should have had this voice all the time. I like it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Jake. Do you think you have that Michael Douglas pussy eating cancer? Uh, you know what? Oh no. Were you it. eating Catherine Zeta Jones pussy again? Uh, Jake, why would you do that? Oh my god. Listen, you're a married boy. When in Rome. <laughs> it's so funny that that's the first thing that he went to and it was totally unprompted <laughs> yeah is there any truth behind the science behind the science if someone has hpv on their pussy and you touch it with your throat box not in my eyes or in my mouth brother wait <laughs> hpv was the cause um that's what I, he says i think that's what the, i thought it was just the the munching that did it <laughs> <laughs> like Seriously. the motion of his mouth yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like how fucking Eddie Van Halen had mouth cancer and blamed it on like chewing tobacco. Well, I that thought seems it was, like the right thing to give. Well, yeah, because you're chewing your mouth. You know what I mean. So Michael Douglas naturally seemed natural that it was just. I'm so sorry for <laughs> Danny did a close up to this. And I started doing that was that. perfect. Clip it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Clip his fucking tongue off too, oh. while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see that again. Yeah, nobody does. No, but that was very good pussy eating, Jake. Thank, <laughs> thank you for showing us that. <laughs> uh, get this. This fucking moron starts burglarizing houses. <laughs> and All right. He's starting to get there. He's ramping up. He is ramping up. And he's sent to something called a resettlement colony. What does that mean? I don't fucking know, man. Jesus Christ. A resettlement colony. So he's still under this fucking retard statute where because of he's listed as mentally defective. So I imagine this resettlement company colony is just like... An adult <coughs> retard zone. <laughs> well, as someone who has worked in the field for a long time, you sure are bringing up the <laughs> correct nomenclature for all these uh, things. Have, has anybody you've ever worked with seemed like a kind of person that would like burglarize or anything like that? That seems like out of the realm of like Down syndrome, autistic people, that kind of shit. You know what I mean? People of all different types of special needs, like, there's a spectrum. Mm -hmm. There are some where they're just, like, profoundly... Low IQ. Right, yeah. yeah. Like, profoundly But you can still be deficient. mean with and then, that 
dumbness. There is that. It, yeah. <laughs> there is that. It's like, you can't say that, but it's just like, you, it's clear this motherfucker is, he's got the, uh. Smart enough to be mean. Yeah, he's you know got, what I mean? He's got, he's got the devil's tongue in his face. <laughs> you know, they're not all fucking wrestling. Good players. metaphors? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the devil's tongue in his brain. <laughs> but there are Just many... smoothing it out like ice cream. <laughs> there are... Most of them, by and large, are very sweet. Yes. And they're just <laughs> cruising through life with the fucking top back. And the, and the pouring rain. <laughs> <laughs> and sunglasses in the dark. <laughs> just waiting to fucking wrap their car around a tree. <laughs> You should have worked with people, especially <laughs> then. You'd have been perfect. It's never too late. You and I already got, worked with Jake, so. <laughs> you would have gotten Shutter Island. <laughs> but do you get this? So he's uh, at the resettlement colony for a while. He's let out. But then in February of 1950, Jake, he gets in a little more trouble. What do you think he did? He killed someone's dog. He did not. He stole walnuts. Okay. Damn. Mm -hmm. I can relate. Yeah. And you would think they would send him to the nut hut, right? <laughs> I'm teasing, John. <laughs> I'm teasing with you. What do they do, Mike? They send his ass back to the resettlement colony. Okay. He escapes, and then he resists arrest, and he develops a hatred for the police. Doesn't take much. <laughs> <laughs> he can't understand right from wrong, but he hates cops. <laughs> I'm starting uh, to think he's more of a Kaiser Sose kind of a fella. What is that from? Usual Suspects. Okay. I'm not too. He just kind of that. pretended to be dumb and disabled and <laughs> incapable, but in oh, the end, ended the up being a yeah criminal genius. That's the move. Mm -hmm. Don't you regret not playing that long game from very early on? <sighs> that would have been so much fun. Who says I'm not, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> My wife has told me from day one of our relationship that she's deaf in one ear, but I truly just think she was playing the long game and that she didn't want to hear me speak to her very often. That's amazing. I think deaf deafness is a con. Have you ever gone to a hearing test with her? That's why they call it deaf con. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. You should you should have her hearing tested. You know? I test it every day when she sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like it's a polite thing. No. Nah. <laughs> I just lay next to her and I'm just like I swear to God one day I'm gonna cheat on you. With your fattest friend. <laughs> Someday she wakes up and she says, and I tell her I'm just having a bad dream. <laughs> there's been wild. There's been some wild shit happening in my sleep recently. That's crazy. I've been taking uh, nighttime medicine and having crazy dreams too. Are you taking like Nyquil? Yeah, that will fucking make you nuts. Yeah, like three nights mm -hmm. in a row, dude. I had dreams that I was uh, uh, looking at the Northern Lights mm -hmm. two nights ago. And then today on the news, there was a report about a plane that was traveling from England to Iceland. And out one side of the plane, all the passengers could see the northern lights. And so the pilot did a full 360 so everybody could see it. Incredible. That's very nice cool. of them. And I think I had a little bit of a futuristic experience in my dream. That's great. Uh, did you see anything in my future? Yeah, you were... Um, you couldn't see the northern lights. You were locked in the bathroom because you super glued your hands to your penis again. <laughs> <laughs> Gorilla glue again? <laughs> yeah, that shit will make you crazy, man. I've been I've been taking edibles to fall asleep for the past couple months. That'll probably do the same, right? It puts me out. I will say this. My wife said last week I woke her up because I was talking like a baby in my sleep. <laughs> That's kind of peaceful sounding. It is nice. Yeah. And then two nights ago, I woke up and my sweatpants were around my ankles. <laughs> <laughs> You're sleeping in full sweatpants? At when night? it's chilly out, I do. That's I normally silly. sleep in shorts, but uh -huh. this night I was very cold. Okay. <laughs> That's like That's never happened before where you No, the only time I remember having weird shit happen when I sleep was when I'm under the influence of some kind of drug. Yeah. I remember I, I took Ambien with painkillers and probably booze, too. And I just woke up in the bathroom, and I had no idea how I got there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ambien, like, basically blacks you out, even if you're not on anything else, right? Yeah, it's like God's got you on a remote control. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's like Satan's got you on a remote control. <laughs> oh, snap, if, if I'm really being truthful. If I'm really being honest with you, yes, I do wear a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest with y'all. 
That's all I ever wanted was the truth. My doctor called me Puddin Shorts. <laughs> He'd be giving me names when I go up Stop there. Stop it. He does not call you Puddin Shorts. He's like, I walk in, he's like, what'd that dick do, Puddin Shorts? I'm like, boy, you better stop and give me that <laughs> shot. <laughs> what shot's he giving you? All of them. Back shots, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Who uh, is she? I cannot uh, figure it out. <laughs> He's like, boy, you better clean that thing. <laughs> that back shot wind smelling ripe. <laughs> but I don't want to go to that doctor anymore. So I'll probably go to a real one next time. Good idea. Yeah. <laughs> but do you get this? So in July of 1951, our dear friend John is reassessed and they determined that mentally he's aged 10. Okay. The same day that he's reassessed and labeled to have the mental functionality of a 10-year-old, he goes to a movie theater. At this movie theater, he comes across a five-year-old child. He lures the child out of the theater. He strangles and bludgeons this child. Jesus Christ. So unfortunately, this is one of a few murders that he ends up committing. Doesn't get caught for this one? Not initially. Damn. So he's in there seeing a movie called Shockproof, which, oddly enough, is about a parole officer falling in love with a client. So I wonder if he's fired up saying, like, damn, I'm going to meet a sexy-ass parole officer. Ah, uh, this is how I find my... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like being horny at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in here wants to fuck. Is that a George Clooney movie? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's called Come in the Air. <laughs> 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 so that's july 15th on august 3rd he's questioned by police isn't it amazing that three weeks go by and they can't figure out that this fucking moron <laughs> committed this crime but they don't even pin it on him then it's not that i mean three weeks back then it's not like there's cameras or like but here's the deal if somebody that has the mental age of a 10 year old commits a violent crime and in that area with yeah. his own fucking dumb hands yeah Imagine the strength of one of these, these fucking dumpster chimps possesses. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus, Mike. I guess you're not going to ever go back into that field, huh? <laughs> no, there, there is a strong demand for people to work with dumpster chimps. <laughs> Stop saying it. Can you guys recall, just off of me refreshing this memory in your dumb brains, the dumbest person that you know? There's a top three or so, probably. Uh-huh. Yeah. Anybody I know? Uh, maybe. I just said three because it could be somebody comedy related that I can't think of off the top of my head, but... okay. I'm just so happy you didn't say me. Uh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> I'm like, oh, don't say me. Don't say me. Um, do you mean people who are dumb who aren't diagnosed with anything? Yeah, just straight up fucking ground beef for brains. I think there's people who have, who show uh, like glimmers of brilliance in that realm of mm -hmm. ground beef brains, but also can do other things well. But Go on. Like they can't like socialize. Like Taco Night and <laughs> Sleppy Joe's. Exactly. But then when it comes to socializing, yeesh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get that. What's the first and last name of the dumbest person you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, the first one that comes to mind is a comedian friend. Really? Not really a friend, but an acquaintance. I'll okay. tell you when we're done. But it's just one of, the, one of those people that you just look at them and you'll be like, there's nothing happening mm -hmm. there. And it's somebody I definitely have met. Yeah. Okay. Everything just revolves around pleasure of the mouth, penis, and anus with them. <laughs> Damn it. I feel like I'm going to spend the rest of the fucking episode <laughs> trying to figure this out. Yeah. All right, let me... Uh... I'll just tell you when we're done. I know, I know, but I just have, no, I know I have to, I just have to harness my chi to be able to get through this. <laughs> God, I wish I would have spent $2,000 for a fucking mantra. <laughs> but all I have is the Burger King theme song. <laughs> <laughs>
Dude, I would love to be Jerry Seinfeld out, man. I saw an interview with one with him one time, and I saw that he practiced transcendental meditation because I, I think I Googled it or something. He does not seem like the kind of guy that would do that, though. He seems like such a jerk-off, man. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. seem like... That. Transmental TM seems... You want to try saying that again? I said TM, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Seems way too hippie, yogi, chill for what he mm. comes across as. He just seems like a fucking neurotic dude, you know? Yeah. I think that's why he has it, you know? I guess so, but it doesn't stop him from being seeming neurotic. Could you imagine how much worse he would be with, yeah. you know, mm. without it? <laughs> he would have beat the shit out of Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> First time he came in this fucking Shot apartment. <laughs> August 8th, he goes to the movies again. He sees another little kid in there. There's an eight-year-old kid in there. He lures this little girl out of the theater, Jesus. takes her to a different theater, strangles her. Where the fuck are the parents of these kids? Are they allowed to go to the movies by themselves back then? Apparently. Now, the Jesus. first kid happened to be walking past the theater. This kid was actually in the theater. Man. Lured her to another theater, strangled this child. How do you, no. At this point, numerous people see him with the child, leaving the theater, getting on the bus, he might have actually been an acquaintance of the bus driver. That's one of the people that recognized him as well. So there's all kinds of people all around town that recognized him. Yeah. This was August 8th. On August 9th, he's arrested. Immediately, he confesses to both crimes. A couple months later, he goes to trial, October 17th, 1951. He's on trial. There's a guy um, who testifies in his defense, named Dr. Peter Parks, who says, you might as well be trying a baby. That's the extent of the knowledge that he has of what he's doing that's either right or wrong. Two questions, Mike. Was it the same theater? I'm only answering one. All right, damn it. No good, Jake. Was it the same theater? Both incidents? I don't know. It's a great question. And then the other thing was, did he show any remorse in the confession or afterwards? Because you said he didn't know his right or wrong, but like... Yeah. Yeah. I'm mm. curious. I don't know, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Got I think I can imagine, like, he's he's upset about getting caught. Yeah. But I don't know, buddy. That's a great question. I don't like, I don't yell at him for bad questions, for good questions. You don't. You never have. No. And I take notice of it. He's, he's got that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a resentment growing between me and John. Hey, man, what's going on? Like, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> nice fucking question, yeah, Jake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's found guilty uh, by reason of insanity, but he's sent to an insane asylum. Mm -hmm. Now, when he's at this insane asylum, he escapes. He's tasked with the job of a cleaner, and he's smart enough to understand that, like, okay, they're giving me enough leeway as to where I can figure a way out of this fucking place. Mm -hmm. he, still has, he still has possession of his civilian clothes. So while he's on one of his cleaning shifts, he takes his civilian clothes with him, and he manages to escape from this facility, Jake. Wow. Fucking baby couldn't do that. Mm hmm I like to see the fucking baby, besides a boss baby, that could get out of a fucking <laughs> mental institution like that. Did you ever think that they should recreate boss baby, but have plan B introduced before the baby is able to form? <laughs> and make a move, a subsequent movie called Boss Jizz? And uh, it's just the cums that talk to each other? Yeah. It's it's just like uh, I haven't thought about making that movie, but clearly you have. That's yeah. the beginning of uh, Look Who's Talking. Yeah, yeah. It's just a cum load, just saying shit like, I didn't order spaghetti sauce on this. Just being bossy at restaurants. Damn, that's more like boss bitch. <laughs> <laughs> have these files on my desk by Friday. Be like, boss Jizz is like, I don't like my fajitas coming out sizzling. You better take that back to the kitchen. Let them settle down before you bring to my table. Put it in front of my cummy puddle. Cummy <laughs> puddle. And then there's an offshoot movie called Cummy Puddle, which is a nice version, who's the arch enemy of Boss Jizz. Sounds like Danny's writing the script right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like the Marvel Universe. Cumiverse, Cumiverse. Let me get a couple of seconds yeah, to think about that. <laughs> Well, continue to think about it when I tell you what happens next. So while he's out, he's not out for long, but while he's out, he kills another child. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? He's roaming around the countryside, and he comes across a couple different people who, who he takes advantage of their kindness. He kills a five-year-old that's on a bike, and <coughs> after killing this child, he asks the lady whose house he comes upon for a cup of tea and a ride to the bus. 
She drops him. She gives him his tea, and she drops him off at the bus stop. And there, there's police everywhere. He's rearrested. And when he's rearrested, he explains to the police that he now understands that murder is wrong, and he understands that murder is one of the five commandments. It's halfway there. What are some of the commandments that you think he understands, or thinks that he understands? Well, murder, one of them. Mm-hmm. I would say um, stealing as a number two. Mm-hmm. Do you know which ones he actually says that he understands? I'm asking the questions here today, dickhead. Okay. <laughs> Vague. I like I'm this. So sorry, um, he probably knows not to fuck his neighbor as an old lady. That's a good one. Don't mess with sloth, sloths, right? That's another one. That's a good one, too. No Jake. sex with sloths. Um, and that was five. Mm-hmm. It was? No. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, police catch him. Um, they were tipped off because they were able to pull some tongue prints off of a shop window. You're you're fucking around. I am, Jake. Oh, God. I'm teasing. <laughs> the hammer store. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have these in an 11? <laughs> <laughs> so July 21st, 1952, he's brought to trial. And it actually takes two juries because the first one, they're not sequestered. <laughs> There, some of the jurors are overheard talking at a local pub saying that they don't think he's guilty. So when that comes to light, the judge declares that there needs to be an all-new jury. They get a second jury in there, and he's given a death sentence. Wow. Damn. Mm-hmm. He's 22 when this happened? Yep. Jesus. Yeah, brother. And uh, I would imagine the way the death penalty goes here, he's still alive and doing just fine in <laughs> merry old England. Now, well, the week before he was scheduled to be executed someone called the fucking home secretary contacts the queen and asks for a reprieve and the queen grants him a reprieve from the death penalty permanently that lasts forever yeah wow he is transferred to six different prisons now is this because of the insanity like they had to go overstep the the courts yeah Yeah, he's an absolute moron right so that fact I'm surprised that he got the death penalty in the first place with the insanity and the lack of intelligence I think the emotionality of the situation played more into that than the actual... And he escaped once, so it's like... He, yeah, he's got some intelligence. Yeah. yeah. Like, he might, not, he might not present as well as you might hope. But when, when he said that he now understands... He <laughs> when he, uh, now, he just, now he understands that um, murder is wrong. Um, <laughs> was it like, did it take that last kid? Like, when he killed that third kid, he realized it was bad? I don't know because or he just knew he was supposed to say it then. That's that's the only excerpt from the interaction with police mm-hmm. that I read where he talks about that being wrong. And immediately like when he's caught, he says, "I did not kill that little girl on the bike." And they didn't even ask him about that kid. They didn't even know that another kid had been killed. There was just Oh before. shit. Yeah. So that third kid that he killed after he escaped, police <laughs> initially did not know that he had murdered that child. Damn. Wow. Really makes you think, Jake. It's just crazy because it's like, you're just a mad, like, that's such a fucking terrible thing to go through. Is like, the police have to show up and be like, hey, this person who was arrested for murdering two kids this age mm-hmm. that were that was already tried and behind bars, technically, uh, escaped and killed your child. Like, that's fucking, you shouldn't have to pay taxes ever again. That should be at the least, rule. <laughs> at least. Yeah. So our dear friend lives to the age of 77. Oh my God. He thrived. He did. They said he really enjoyed making tea for the guards at all the prisons that he lived in. And they were regular um, dumb and not dumb motherfucker prisons, right? Yes. He just got moved around his entire life? He did. And some say he died of a broken tongue, Jake. Is that what happens when there's no windows, only poles to lick? That's got to be. That's got to be so heartbreaking when you're retarded in a prison and you're licking the mirror and you realize it's not a window. <laughs> like, that's when you realize the permanency of it all. Well, what year does that mean he died? 2007. Jesus oh, damn. Christ! Yeah, he lived a full life. He was 77 years old. God damn. God bless him. God damn him. <laughs> what to hell? 
Yeah, a retarded person you're going to say that about? Yeah, I mean, he murdered. Yeah. Children. Yeah. Len- Lenny felt bad about the murders and mice of men, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was, I mean, first it was the rabbits, yeah. right? But like, he felt bad. Every time. But he was not killing them on purpose, though. No, he was excited. Yeah. Yeah. So it's so it's different than that book. Mm-hmm. You ever kill something you love? <sighs> no, I had a turtle die, but it wasn't in my care when it died. Whose care was it? Did you go on vacation and come home to an empty <coughs> shell? I went on a long vacation to Los Angeles for a year and a half. And oh, my God. My turtle sitter did not take care of my turtles. <gasps> Are you still friends with them? No. Is it's it because of this? Yeah. It, was it Shredder? Might as well. Because he shreds dudes' butts, too. <laughs> Damn, Don. Do you remember where you were when you found out your turtles went to that big stinky tank in the sky? <laughs> God damn, those things stink, dude. I should have killed that thing a while ago. <laughs> That's why they'd be hiding in the shells. <laughs> they'd be like, I, I can't believe how bad I'd be smelling. <laughs> That's got to be the best to be a turtle. Like, you could yell anything and then just go back in that shell. Yeah. Pretty freeing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I threw away a hermit crab that died, and then it came back to life. Oh, my God, Jake. It rose, like, three, four days later. Like, out of the trash? Yeah. So well, so we threw away the whole thing, the cage and everything. Yeah. Because it was dead, and, like, it was not moving for a long time, and it stunk. So we threw it in the trash, and a couple of days later, still wasn't trash day, went in. I guess it, well, some water got in. I mean, we were feeding it, too, the whole time. In the trash? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and you knew it was a lot. Jake was dumping ham no. in there every other day. <laughs> I was, I was dead. Baby birding it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, he's fucking dead. And like, we just put the, we didn't even put the mm. fucking hermit crab in the bag. We just fucking just dropped it down in the can outside. Oh God, the outside can. Yeah. So we opened up the can. I'm like, yeah, look, it's right there. And it's fucking moving around. Oh, like, my God, we're Jake. like, oh my God, it's alive. Wesley. It just needed to smell some stinky trash in the dark for a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Went to the hole. Mm. So if any of your um, hermit crabs out there are not doing very well, yeah, throw them in the fucking garbage. Jake, did, th- did you think that he went to heaven or shell? <laughs> I think shell. Yeah. Yeah. One trick to do when you don't realize if something is dead or not is play Evanescence's Bring Me to Life. If it, does it work? If it's truly not dead, it will rise and it will dance. <coughs> Whoa. Mm-hmm. I've seen that happen in person. Mm-hmm. At a fucking concert, me and Danny, we rose and danced. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Man, I truly missed going to that concert with you guys. Do you believe that they didn't close with that song? Yeah. That's insane. That's insane. What song did they close with? I don't, some of the order. fans knew it, My for immortal. sure. The piano one? It was definitely a slower... Was it, was just a piano These and her? I think so, yeah, yeah. probably My Immortal. Okay, take it easy, Jake. Right. Jesus, my Immortal. Crazy. <laughs> when you cried, I'd wipe away Is he singing the right song? Yep. Oh my God. You guys should have been there. What the fuck? I know, man. I, I, was, know. I was not feeling well. I'm sorry. Yeah, and, I, right. and I saw the opportunity to jump ship, and I took it. <laughs> <laughs> you fucker, man. Yeah, I was like, yeah. You could have been sweaty on acid with us. Mm-hmm. We'll get another chance. Yeah, they're going to be touring again for sure. I'll take any chance to sweat with you guys. Where do you want to sweat next? <coughs> um, I kind of want to go to Jazz Fest in New Orleans. Ooh, That's where I've heard the best sweat-related... Um, Comment of my whole fucking life. I was walking by John Bovey's concert, John Bon Jovi, and he said, Y'all ain't done sweating yet. This is a Bon Jovi concert. Uh oh. And then he played one more song and it was done. Then a woman dehydrated and passed away. <laughs> <laughs> I have a relative with a Bon Jovi tattoo. I actually, it's not a Bon Jovi tattoo. It's the tattoo of the team that Bon Jovi owns, the Arena Football League team, the Philadelphia Soul. That is exponentially a trash year. Um, it's the logo of the Soul team. It is. It's a cool logo. What's the relative's gender? A batshit insane lady. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was a lady's tattoo. The wow. indoor Arena Football fucking mm-hmm. tattoo. Yeah. Wow. An utterly insane woman. And she probably has less than eight tattoos. I don't know. I haven't kept up with her. Okay. 
Will you find out for me? I refuse to contact this woman again. Ah, fuck. Will you ever see her again? Yeah. Okay. But I'm not going <laughs> to scan this person's body. You have to. I cannot. You have to Jake, count. will you do it for me? I'll do it for you. All right. Tell her you're with the fucking water department, and you got to check her for for scoliosis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it checks out. It che checks out. I just have a flashlight and a digital camera. Yeah, you have to show up to whatever funeral Mike is at with this person in a doctor's outfit. Oh my God. <laughs> That'd be great. But also a hard hat because you're with the water department. Is that what's happening here? He's with the waterhead department, yes. <laughs> that would be a fun and practical Joker's move. Wearing a doctor's outfit to a viewing. And then, like, get it going to the receiving line. Be like, I think, wait, let's not call it all off right yet. I think I could do something. Put your about stethoscope this. on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just want to double check. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hold on. Let me, let me try one more thing. No, no, I had a hermit crab where it was a whole thing. He came back. <laughs> let me just close the casket for a few yeah. days. Yeah. I always do that. Whenever I go to an open casket funeral, I'll slowly close the casket just to see if they're a faker. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they they will like you you know you sometimes know. people fake their death on Facebook uh huh yeah sometimes people take it a little further and then when they realize that coffin's about to shut for the final time they'll be like ah I just want to see who would show up and what percentage of funerals do you think they, that's happened to you at three three percent <laughs> I I will say this I don't know if I ever told you guys this but I had an uncle who got <laughs> hit by a trolley who tried to climb into my grandfather's casket. Mm -hmm. After the trolley, <laughs> was it yeah. post trolley? Yeah, he was trolleyed up by the time okay. like he got in this casket and everybody pulled, everybody pulled him out. But yeah, in hindsight, I, I well not in hindsight, I thought it at the time, even as a child, and now more than ever, I think we should have let him get in there just to see what he would have done. Yeah, close it up. Nobody do anything. Bury me with him. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Take a nap. <laughs> yeah, what is the point of this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Take a nap. Yeah, you're fucking up the work. All right, he's looking good. <laughs> Like, just going through a viewing and be like, Jake, are you tickling the the body? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, he's fucking faking. He's yeah. done it before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get him. All right, he's dead. <laughs> yeah. 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 He said he was he was ticklish, right? <laughs> just touching all over, just <laughs> taking his shoes off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the all right. <laughs> I got to best out the big guns. You got a bunch of feathers in your jacket. <laughs> All right. The very last thing I'm going to do is suck his big toe. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. I'm done. Oh, dude. When my first grandmother died, fuck, how, I was probably like eight. And I remember my mom and my aunt brought us over to my grandparents' apartment because my grandfather <laughs> could not wake my grandmother up. So my mom and my aunt went into their bedroom. My grandmother was dead on the bed. And my sister, my cousin, and I were sitting on the living room couch, which was maybe 10 feet from this bedroom. And it went on for like fucking hours. But my mom and my aunt just kept screaming, Mom, wake up. And it was truly one of the most horrifying experiences that I've had because nobody was there to comfort us. My grandfather was in there with them. Mm -hmm. and it you were went, just outside by yourself with your... We're just all yeah. quietly sitting on the couch. Like, we all realized that this, that this lady's wow. dead. And they just kept saying, Mom, wake up. Mm-hmm. And was it the children that called the coroner? Or no, my grandpa the... did, yeah. Okay. And then he came to live with us and was shitting That's in the living so room. That's so incredibly and sad. no time at all. She was a nice lady. Was it, um, obviously, very unexpected if they... A motorcycle accident, John. She died of being an old woman. An old lady. She did have, uh, you know those... Um, those arts and crafts eyes that are googly. She had a set of those. Where? In her head. <laughs> <laughs> Very simple woman. <laughs> nice as can be. Always had candy. Well, my condolences. Thank you, John. That means a lot to me. This one's called I Raised the On High, and it's about a little <laughs> duck getting his head caught in a stewed tomato. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Do y'all remember y'all first experience with death? It had to be just a great aunt or uncle, I suppose. Mm -hmm. First funeral wise. Yeah. I we had a cat run away 
and we never saw it again. The mm -hmm. cat's name was Pumpkin, right? And we went looking for Pumpkin. And I mean, this was maybe six, seven years ago where I finally realized um, one of my uncles in the car was like, well, there's Pumpkin because there was a smashed pumpkin in the street. Oh, and, my and God. And for all this time, I've always thought like there was our cat Pumpkin yeah. destroyed in the street. Mm -hmm. Oh. And then I was like, oh, my you God. You never saw that it was an actual pumpkin? I just saw a bunch of mess all over the highway. You know? yeah. I mean, I didn't see blood, though. I saw, like, orange stuff. So I was yeah. like, oh, my God. It looks like a pumpkin, but he said that's pumpkin. Your uncle was out of his gourd for that. <laughs> so that was my first real, uh, you know, connection to death. That's sad. <laughs> it sucks that you, when you're so young, you don't ask for clarification. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're just yeah, like, yeah. oh, fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, was that really the dead cat? <laughs> Did you ever find it? No. You just ran away. Mm, man. No. Yeah, that shit's... I, I had a cat that's been missing for... I mean, he's clearly dead now. Like, How long? He, he got it like... He just... He started to be... He wanted to go outside a lot as he got older. And in 2013, when we moved to the house that we're in now, he really liked going outside. So mm -hmm. we just fucking let him go. And he would come back. A lot of cats in your neighborhood are probably outside, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he would come back, and then uh, the, the last time I saw him, I was driving to the street which is parallel with my street and I saw him crossing the street and I said killer get it good over here I was gonna bring him put him in the car with me and bring him in and like he looked at me and then he just kept walking and I didn't think anything of it because I just assumed I would see him again but that mm -hmm. was the last time I saw him hmm. he was wow. a very sweet cat and I really miss him sad yeah so that was 10 years ago and at the time he was probably 2001 I got him with my dead aunt Patsy's money yeah I bought my wife that cat so he was 12 at that time so now he would be 22 so he's most certainly worm food, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry. No, nah, he's probably he's still doing good. Uh, <laughs> my it... sister had a cat that went missing for like close to a year. Whoa. And was found chipped in Middletown, Delaware. What? Oh my God. A solid 30 miles away. Yeah. And fat as fuck. So whoever found it was like... Either it did well on fucking birds and mice, yeah. or the cat was, you know, with this people for yeah. That's months. That's incredible. Yeah, it was a fat fucker when we got it back. Mm -hmm. Damn. Crazy. Wow, man. Did people in your neighborhood know your cat? No. Okay, I wasn't sure, because I know we had a dog that everyone knew our dog growing up. His name was Reggie, mm -hmm. after Reggie White. Oh. Uh, the coolest name he was such a motherfucker, though, right? Like, he would bark and nip at any, like, he wouldn't let us pet him. You know what I mean? Jesus, Jake. Yeah. So back then, we didn't have a fenced in the yard, so we just let him out. Like, we couldn't even walk him. Yeah, and he would just run around the fucking, terrorize the neighborhood. Oh, no. So much to the point. The where, 90s. Like, dude, we would open the front door, there would be cars coming, and he'd stand in the middle of the street. We'd be like, Reggie! <laughs> Reggie! Get over here! And he would do what you said Killer did, where he just, like, stopped, turned, and then just fucking ran the other way. Mm -hmm. And we're like, that motherfucker. And it got to the point where the neighbor, the next... The, parallel block over would drive over because his dogs were in a fenced in yard on two or three times it was like next time i see your fucking dog i'm gonna fucking kill it <laughs> yeah. and we're like yeah, yeah let's dude. see you fucking try and like it just got so oh no you guys were so wrong yeah oh and, and then uh we fed him fucking my friends thought it'd be funny to feed him hot peppers and he had the most explosive diarrhea Aww. and a couple months later his stomach flipped what does that mean his fucking stomach flipped. How does I that never heard of that. It's a dog thing, yeah. There's you wouldn't things. understand? Yeah, you guys wouldn't understand. <laughs> All right, dude. I've had thing. dogs, dickhead. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm reading off my big dog shirt. That I <laughs> but yeah, that happened, and that was I fucking cried like a bitch. Oh, no. Then, yeah. Do you think the peppers the did it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I always I've, I put that blame on myself. The peppers. You definitely did it. I you didn't your feed dog. him the peppers. This fucking. You let kid. your friends do it. Yeah, I let. Yeah, the one dude. You're. Uh, what, I yelled at him for feeding him a fucking uh, pepper. That's but, a sin. What, yeah. Could you tell that he was in a lot of jalapeno? Yeah, I think so, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. So rest, rest in peace, Reggie. Wherever you are, whatever neighborhood you're terrorizing. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's got wings now? I sure hope so. I hope he doesn't have hot wings with his stomach issues. <laughs> 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 He's got regular ass wings. 
give that motherfucker some yeah. mild wings. <laughs> maybe, a, maybe a dry rub. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about dry rubs, by the way. <laughs> like to mention what you my, been doing? my sponsor, which is my hand in my penis tonight. Oh my Clip god. It. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna jerk off later? No, man. I already got one out today. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna jerk off today either. Yeah, I don't really jerk off at nighttime. Yeah. I like I like the sun being out and just beating down through the blinds onto my penis. Mm hmm I hear that. Yeah, sometimes you don't even gotta touch it. The sun be beating it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more, John. God damn, dude. Why can't I be a black comedian? Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, just imagine your wife walking in on you and you got a magnifying glass <laughs> aimed at your dick. <laughs> and that's not what you think. Burning holes <laughs> into it. Your hands crawling out of it. No, dude. Just fucking having one of those uh, foldable fucking things. Like, <laughs> yeah. Do you just want your dick sucked? Like, no, I know what I'm doing. What were the things <gasps> in the 90s they'd give you for your fucking eyes when you would go tanning? Oh, uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Trump those. still wears those. Things. Glasses, yeah. Yeah. The little, like, they just connect in the middle, Jones? Yep, yeah. yeah. Did you ever go in a tanning booth? I think I might have done that once. No. Maybe once in college, or maybe I just went with my girlfriend while she did it. If I went in a tanning booth, everyone there would get a tan. <laughs> <laughs> the door wouldn't close. Yeah. And everyone. Yeah. Be an open <laughs> casket tanning session. <laughs> oh, man. Have you ever been to a funeral where the death was so horrific they had to have a closed casket? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it was because of it's a horrific death, though. Yeah. There, Tell me about it. Make me hard. There was a kid in fifth grade who died. And he, um, it was like the summer uh, going into fifth grade, he got into a go-kart accident. Ooh. And he was just riding the go-kart around the neighborhood in Chai. Uh, in like Lower Chai, it's all these like row homes, very tight streets. Mm -hmm. He accidentally drove into one of those track, like the uh, trailers that cars have, like yeah. the little things. Uh, but it was just like left on the street. Drove directly into the fucking thing. Terrible, terrible stuff. Uh, so yeah, that was closed. So you hard now, Mike? <laughs> that's a great kid way to die. Yeah, that's that's the ultimate. Yeah, yeah, but. Tragic for us behind. Was but. his mask car driving the go kart to heaven? <laughs> <laughs> St. Jeff Gordon, the patron saint of fucking <laughs> dumbass fifth graders. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was he a nice boy? Uh, I barely knew him, but uh -huh. I, I showed up and then I turned out I ended up like being good friends with his cousins growing up and they were like fucked up by it. Oh, I'm so, sorry to hear that. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. That I guarantee that was fun up until the very end though. Yeah. You're whipping around the neighborhood. Was it God. was it instant? I fucking hope so. Yeah. 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 I think the only death I knew about was for like in a in high school a kid died. But in grade school I think my friend in Pennsylvania had like a um dirt 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 buggy, dirt bike A T V involved. Mm -hmm. But I think it was like on dirt roads and ramps and shit that they made as okay. opposed to zipping around the neighborhood. Damn. Yeah, I guess. Probably a good thing they didn't have mm -hmm. a motorized vehicle as a child. I probably would have done some fucking dumb shit. We already did dumb shit on bikes as it was. Yeah. I was just about to ask Jake, did that child have a rat's tail by any chance? No. No. <laughs> oh, no. The rat's tail ones. I feel even worse now. The, the rat's tail ones <laughs> lived because they knew what they were, like, they were like they knew how to use these things. Yeah, they knew their limitations. Yeah. Yeah. They just later OD'd in high school. Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, they lived yeah. to die of heroin. <laughs> yes, yeah. Sadly, that's the truth. Yeah. Man. What Good crazy reminder. way would you want to die? What crazy way would I want to yeah. die? I think I'd like to be murdered. Don't Yikes. put that out there. Don't Jesus put that Christ. out there. No. A appease your God. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't know, man. Well, you obviously, 
You're not just going to leave it fucking vague. You know how you want to get murdered. I'm no, sure. I, I will say, like, I just hope it's, you know, a sudden death because, one, because if I, I see people, especially people in my family, living to older ages, they don't have the finances to be cared for properly and they end up getting shit end of life care and it just seems like a miserable way to end your life. Mm -hmm. So the quicker the better. If I can just get a fucking, you know, stabbing at 50... I'll take it. 50. I think you is, can go to like 70 and then you just start driving around bad neighborhoods, you know? Is the, um, <laughs> well, there is a charge. It's, I think it's much lesser than murder. It's assisted suicide. Yeah. Who right? is that old man driving the go kart around? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He's going on 95. Yeah. Why That's his get, age. <laughs> Hopefully he's dead at 96. Why is he throwing real turtles out of the fucking go-kart? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would love to um, get sucked into a, a um, tornado. That would sucked be right up to heaven, baby. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. Did you develop a fear of that after seeing Twister? Yes. Like that movie was fucking amazing. But then later in life, I've, I've become such a fan of tornado footage mm -hmm. i've looked cool, up yeah. prices it's like five g's to go tornado hunting and you're not even guaranteed Dude. though i think nowadays you're pretty much guaranteed i always thought they should re tornadoes. they should remake twister and name it twist her to make it about a badass lady tornado <laughs> who just wrecks shit on her own and doesn't need the help of a male tornado that's a beautiful story mike starring bill pull woman he was in that right mm -mm. fuck Paxton. Um, unfortunately, All right. it was Paxton. The Paxton. Rest in peace. Paxton is gone. Oh, no, he's gone? Yeah, he mm -hmm. died. God. Go-kart. <laughs> I forget what it was. Yeah. Was it Some weird thing. Disease? Or, yeah. No, I think it was like a sudden heart attack thing. Mm. <laughs> Did you see the woman recently that got sucked into the jet engine? No. Yeah. She was an airline worker, and she had previously been reprimanded for approaching- Smoking too close to the engine? <laughs> <laughs> I'll smoke wherever the fuck I want. Not too far off. And yes, John, you're right on that. And <laughs> she was a woman who had been reprimanded previously for approaching approaching the airplane <laughs> before it was due to be approached. And she disregarded it, and it sucked her into that jet engine. And boy, did that jet engine eat good that day. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How recent was this? I That's never heard awful. of this. Like a month ago. My God, mm -hmm. just God, the fucking thoughts you must have yeah. right before that happens. What if you're on the plane waiting to take off? <laughs> I knew that, the fuck I on. knew that fat bitch was standing too close <laughs> to the fucking engine. How uh, many times yeah. have we said, don't stand so close? Uh, yeah, when I worked at the airport, not I didn't see anyone get sucked <laughs> in, but you know those little baggage carts? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, some of them have like zip-up doors on the side for like, oh, the yeah. winter yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Some idiot went too close behind an airplane. Oh no! With one door closed, so it tipped the whole cart. Just sucked it over, like. To the and he fell, and like I don't think he like literally. I think the top of the cart went into his head. Oh like my he God. survived, but I don't oh, think he's like crap. that functional oh, human no. being Jesus anymore. Christ! Yeah. Why the fuck are people playing it so fucking close to these goddamn jet engines? It's got to be exciting, though. <laughs> Dude, I, yeah. I've been there. <laughs> because you're trying to get your bags, like, there's, like, a position where you're doing all the connecting flights. Yeah, and you're trying to, like, get as close as you can to yeah. the timing and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, safety first, teamwork second. <laughs> yeah, I'll send you guys that story, but, yeah, it was especially fucked up. And uh, she turned it into Spirit Airlines, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's got, the most devastating aspect was the... Uh, the so. guy from the transportation bureau having to approach that family and hand them a bloody weave. Jesus. That had to have been awful, Jake. That sounds terrible, yeah. Mike. They folded it up like a flag. <laughs> <laughs> the viewing was on the luggage conveyor. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just stood around. Okay. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, she's uh, there's no easy way to tell you this, but she's permanently cruising at an altitude of 45,000 feet. <laughs> Just constantly being propositioned to sign up for a credit card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
Man. Yeah, they got some pretty good deals on miles with those cards. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I took advantage of it. Got a couple free trips. Last time I was on a flight, they didn't offer it. I was pissed. I was ready to sign. Damn, brother. I'm about to get those miles, baby. Bump mm -hmm. me up to first class. Now's a good time. Now's a good time? I'm not, I'm not here on behalf of the airline. Yeah. I think it's like 60,000 miles you get, which mm -hmm. for me, like that was San Francisco, Michigan, and I have another trip that I'm doing with it. Mm -hmm. so. All got paid for miles? Yeah. Nice. Well, yeah. Man. And Disney. Disney Fucking my family, yeah. Your whole family on those miles? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 60,000 so, miles goes so that far? In, in order to hit that limit, you have to hit a limit on the credit card. Yeah, you don't so. have to spend like $3,000 yep. in the first yeah. month. Like, yep. Month or three months? I think it's two months or three months, yeah. That's a lot. It is, but if you do it right, you can pay I think pay I normally off. spend that much money. I guess I'll have to treat myself. Mm -hmm. What are you going to buy? Ice cream every day. Go kart. Go kart every day. Mm -hmm. You know, it'd be fun to uh, eat two ice cream cones at the same time while trying to steer a go kart. <laughs> That's probably what that boy was doing, Jake, wasn't he? I man, no idea. what a bet. What, no better way to go. Yeah. Came straight from the ice cream man. Mm -hmm. Had enough for two, two cones. Oh one God. for him, one for Jesus. <laughs> it wasn't even melted by the time it got to Jesus' mouth. <laughs> that motherfucker was Dale stopped heart. <laughs> man, I hope the family does not see this. They don't. It would be horrible if they did. Yeah. Yeah, I sh I sh Sorry about your dead friends, guys. Yeah, I should really stop. I don't, th I don't think I've ever had a friend die. Yeah, you have. Who? Didn't you have a friend who was murdered? Oh, he wasn't a damn friend. He was a damn bully. Oh, he was an enemy. That, yeah. Okay. It's actually a blessing. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've only had enemies die. Yeah. <laughs> I have been very fortunate. Very few people that I love have died, and I feel very lucky. Yeah, there's only, only a couple I could think of. Yeah, my aunt Patsy was probably the closest that I would, my, who left me five thousand dollars. She was probably the closest that I've been to someone that has died. And uh, I had a coworker who I really, really loved. He died, and some dumb bitch. Man, breaking death news is nothing gets a dumb bitch harder than breaking death news. Yeah, I what remember is with that. Is it no is it a certain age? I think so because it's an older older lady thing. It's yeah. like, guess that all you have to fucking talk about? Yeah, it was like the worst fucking yeah. way to it. Like I was, wa I worked in the school at the time. I worked at Chai. Okay. And I walked in the school, <coughs> and it's like, staff and kids were just, you know, it's the start of a day. Everybody's fired up, and this lady called me over. And she's like, "Oh, Tony, so and so died." I was like, "What?" She's like, "Hey, yeah, died in sleep last night." I was just like, "You fucking dumb bitch." So excited to tell you too. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Watch Yellowstone. Jesus Christ. People he, just love that. This guy was so fucking funny, though. He was just an old retired guy who, you know, he worked for, I think, Boeing. So he had some money and he just was trying to find something to do with his time during the day. And he was so fucking funny. And he would say, like, the funniest shit. The last thing that I remember him saying was, we all worked with kids with behavioral problems. And my friend Tony walked into class with a bag of Wendy's. And one kid's like, hey, Tony, what you got in that bag? And Tony goes, a vibrator. Now do your fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> Man, no better last words. That's <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Richard Belzer. Did you see what his last words were? No. His last words apparently were, fuck you, motherfucker. Oh, great. <laughs> his like best friend was in, his, in the room with him. I think he might have said it to him. Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> What do you think your last words are going to be before I put the pillow over your faces? <laughs> Mike, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, that's probably what it would be. I'm going to be jerking you, too. <laughs> All right, Mike, stop, but don't stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pop. <laughs> I see the light. I'm going to come. <laughs> Man, could you imagine that? Do you think you come in heaven? Or you when think the come is left here on earth? When you asphyxiate? Yeah. Oh, wow. You mean the physical or the uh, the wow, stimulus? Wow, I never thought feeling. about that. Ooh, maybe your does your ghost experience the pleasure? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like when you hopefully get up you get both. Uh huh. Imagine arriving to heaven with a, a fresh 
I just came feeling. Yeah, it's got to be tough. I don't know. That would be like, I don't know. But you got to be. You'd want to like be sitting down for a minute. You know, hopefully there's a little bit bit of a waiting room situation. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're probably a little bit embarrassed if like everybody knows, like especially if you get there and you got a white belt around your neck now. (laughs) Do they all have belts around their necks? That's how you. That's how you come while you're choking. No, no, I'm saying, dude, when they get to heaven, they do they all. Well, before you get your wings, that's how you're attached on the assembly line. You're just hanging <laughs> there on the white belt. <laughs> that, that's how they know, Jake. That's your punishment for the afterlife. Is everybody's got to know that you were just trying to come hard because regular coming wasn't good enough for you. Would they keep the belt, or would it just be like the holes imprinted on your neck, and then people are like, "What's that?" They keep the belt. They want to shame you. Okay. So it's like, yeah, you get like the Heaven Buffet and the Hall of Knowledge access, but you do have to let everyone know what you're there for. I love your... It's the, not a bad version you're, of Heaven. Yeah, you're getting shamed in Heaven. That's, that's incredible. <laughs> that's fine. You get, like you said, the buffet. Uh-huh. That's yeah. the most important part. It's got to be so tough to explain to your pets. <laughs> the, your dogs are trying to get your fucking belt. What? Yeah, your dog's jumping up and nipping, trying to get the end of your belt. Yeah, they think it's a leash. Mm-hmm. He's taking you for a walk now. <laughs> Can you talk to your pets? You know, are your pets like? Are you guys, can they speak they're English they're, now in heaven? Yeah, like, you're, yeah, your dog's like, what the fuck? And you're like, you can have a back and forth. Yeah, they, you can do anything in heaven. You want I, how come? Like, well, I tried. was a Reggie. I was a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Reggie got a lot to say to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's gotta be nice. What part? All of <laughs> wearing the jerk off rope in heaven. Yeah, I just, I just can't wait to, uh, to hug Killer in heaven. And have him hope that he disregards my my belt around my neck. <laughs> he gonna be chilling on it. <laughs> what color was Killer? He Gray. was uh, multicolored. I don't know what do they call it, tabby, like white, black, and brown kind of. He was black, brown, and a little bit of gray, I believe. I love those colors. He was beautiful, man. Yeah. Did you have him from kitten? Yeah, nice. I bought him with that death money. When oh when God. I got all that Aunt Patsy death money, that's what I bought oh, my wife. How much was, does a cat cost? Killer was cursed. Maybe a hundred bucks. Not bad. When I got back from Vegas, I was running low on cash, so I considered seeing if I could take him back. <laughs> what did you did you did you just take the money and just throw it in the dumpster? What? And then pick up the cat? What do you mean? You had to pay for a cat? Yeah. They're everywhere. I know, but I had money that day, so I spared no expense. <laughs> Where did you buy a cat? At a pet shop in Springfield. Oh, that place. It was uh where the Chinese buffet used to be. I'm serious, which is probably where they got a lot of their <laughs> meat from. <laughs> they didn't have to change anything with zoning. It just got yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just repurposed the pet shop. But yeah, he was a sweet guy. I miss him. Yeah, I got two great cats now, though. Yeah, they are sweet boys. They're so funny yeah. together. They're hams. Yeah, I, I I feel I feel like an old lady anytime I speak about them. I'm just like, oh, the personalities on them. <laughs> I've been tricking them. I've been giving them treats in my bed because I want them in my bed with me, and it's working. Dude, the, the love you have for your cats. Pervert. Is- yes, I love it. Thank you, John. <laughs> it's it's so, like, it does not match. You know what I mean? Your love for cats. I see you, and then you It's start- out of character. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. It's alarming. I'm not a hateful person, though. You're not. You're not. You're right. And you give money to people in need frequently. Or maybe just when I'm around. Just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> just chill, dude. My wife watches this shit. <laughs> no, I've only seen you give a couple homeless people a couple bucks. Yeah. But I'm sure it's not giving it to them. Sure is, sure is not. Yeah. I think it's time we end this. <laughs> I like talking I'm about losing that. my words. This is pet talk. Let's keep talking about pet talk. <laughs> I haven't had a pet day. I got close last year. I know you did. <laughs> Yeah. You, but I had no idea how fucking painful it was going to be. The little mama was a uh, lucky dog, <coughs> and now look at her thriving. <coughs> she got bath today. She got uh-huh. bath. Mm-hmm. Oh, you 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 get in there, you get all nude with the the pup. It's the only way to do it, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> how about you, Jake? How's I mean, Bud doing? I'd love to see that on the Patreon. Uh, Bud's doing good. I don't get in the bath. <coughs> right now. Why not? I just spray him with the hose. <coughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and he hates it. Give him the hose. See what he does with it. <laughs> Let him show you what that hose do. He's a sweetheart, man. Yeah. He can't hear for shit. At oh, no. Anytime, he used to be able to just hear a noise, freak the fuck out. It was very territorial and def- yeah. very protective of our house and everyone in it. 
Now it's like you could fucking scream at him. Oh. And he just like lays there. Oh, that's got to be so nice. Yeah. Danny, how's the schoolie and goblin? Uh, goblin's just as retarded as ever. And, uh, I can I, I can relate. Ghoulie's uh, getting stronger, though. She's, like, challenging him. Like, oh, they, that's got to be they fun They play to the see. rope, yeah. you know, and she has way more stamina, mm -hmm. and he can't handle losing. <laughs> like, he throws the biggest bit. <laughs> he'll, uh, if he loses, he'll wait for her to drop the rope, mm -hmm. steal it, and force it underneath the couch. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Sore loser. <laughs> Are they gonna, they're not going to be the same size, right? Is Ghoulie already as big as she'll get? Yeah, she's like 40 pounds and Goblin's 80. Oh, my wow. God. Yeah, he's but she's got the puppy energy. Yeah. And you guys, how are your pets? Everyone yeah. <laughs> Send us Is this a live episode? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just let us know how your pets are in the comments. And yeah. uh, Would you ever put a pet in a casket? Oh, my God. No. Human cannon, yes. <laughs> casket, no. <laughs> what do you mean a casket? Like a... A dog cat. A fucking body box, dickhead. Yeah, I mean, what do you like think a fucking... casket is? That's, well, you just repeated what it is. <laughs> you said the definition. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, when you do that tone, you say something completely unrelated. Oh, no, but yeah, I truly meant that. Like uh, like a shoebox? Does that count as a casket for you? No, I, I imagine people that truly love their pets <laughs> will buy them an actual casket. And like bury them in a proper pet cemetery, that kind of thing. Launch them into the fucking sun, man. Yeah. All right. I'll say- yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. For Reggie, for Gizmo, our first dog- mm -hmm. And uh, our two cats, we never found, so they were never buried. Hmm. Um, they were just buried in our backyard. Okay. So we just took their bodies and then just buried them. There. Right. Yeah. Fucking casino style. Oh, yeah. Frankie! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Jake smashed him with a bat just to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had a hermit crab once who didn't eat yeah. it when I thought he ate it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. What? Danny's pulled up pet casket. Oh, my oh God. see, that's what I'm talking about. Jesus Christ, the one that's just like a Dracula fucking coffin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How morbid. Yeah. Just, oh, my God. I'd never wanted Some to. Some of them look like they belong at Quinceañeras. Uh, this is so sad. I told the story on Dad Meat earlier, but uh, there's a pit bull terrorizing our neighborhood recently. I saw that. Like off leash? Like just, yeah. yeah. He yep. just gets loose out of the fucking yard constantly. He killed oh, a he dog. Does. Killed a dog and attacked kids or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. And uh, the dog that he killed was a very sweet neighborhood dog that a very sweet old man would walk around constantly, and the dog's name was Bingo. And when I told Butterly, he's like, oh, no, Bingo was his name-o. <laughs> and then he said, say his name-o. <laughs> <laughs> yes but jesus christ man i i truly hope somebody painfully ends of this dog yeah and our mutual friends that they can't do anything about this well situation. jake plans are in motion oh man why can't they do anything about this apparently the police say that the most they can do is find the owner even though it killed a dog and bit it a kid. Bit a f at least one fucking kid. Isn't that up to the kid's parents whether the dog gets put down or not? I don't know. It sounds rational that that should be the case. Yeah. But it sounds like some some uh, very helpful neighbors are going to have to take care of this. I love some, some of that kind of shit, dude. I'm not even going to say the word. The V word. Live for that shit. Mm -hmm. Live. I got no fucking zero tolerance policy for corruption. <laughs> I, I think a uh, I'm having a stroke I think a hot snossage might find its way into that yard soon oh man ooh whoa <laughs> hot snossage <laughs> dude that is some old school 90s movie shit dude uh -huh. yeah. little rascals yeah. throwing a fucking steak into the dog's yard a little heat on that snossage <laughs> <laughs> now you just can't leave. Yeah, now your dog's addicted to fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be good. Yeah, uh, just dude. What if I bought make uh, it real low energy? Yeah. What, what if I bought fentanyl and loaded a snossage uh, and just gradually got this dog hooked on opiates? <laughs> <laughs> the, the dog's front paws are just hovering off the ground. Oh my god! <laughs> like a dipper. <laughs> Three months later, the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> the dog stealing catalytic converters. <laughs> stealing dog catalytic converters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. It's just it's slowly. killing all the neighborhood catalytic converters. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you see him, he's just slowly like trying to scratch his hind ear and ask you for a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, the legs are slowly going yeah. down. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna have to uh Man, sometimes you gotta take care of things like this, Jake. Oh yeah. Oh I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Um, what are you pointing to? My penis? Is he pointing to my penis? He now? was, yeah. God damn it's it. out. Oh. No. All right, boys. You ready to wrap it up? We had a lot of good fun. We sure did. Thanks for listening, everybody. We, we talked about a killer retard, how much we love our pets, and what we're going to do to somebody's pet who deserves it. I can't wait for you guys to kill that dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking no part in this. <laughs> Man. I think, I think I'm a, allowed to be a fan of this. It's a, it's it's going to kill a child at some point. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my, my fucking son plays at that park where he attacked a kid, so I would think nothing of ending this dog's life. Well, and as choice. a dog lover, that dog did kill a yes. sweet dog. Yeah. Exactly. In front of its fucking owner. Like, this poor guy. This guy is so fucking sweet. I mentioned googly eyes, like, joking the arts and crafts eyes. This guy goes to my wife's restaurant. He goes by himself to eat, and he orders a single glass of wine. And as a joke, he puts googly eyes on a glass of wine. I'm serious. Yeah, we know. <laughs> I don't think we think it's as endearing as you think it is. Mike, does he go alone because he used to go with the dog? Jake, may your dog be cursed with a don't thousand you, worms. Oh, man. I'm teasing. I, I shouldn't say that out loud. Well, I'm sorry. I got murder on the brain it's okay i think i my dog's not making it through this year oh for no. sure for sure he's not making it through this year oh no see what you did mike yeah i no, jake he will no he's like 15 or something yeah i'm there's nothing wrong with that That's yeah my sister has a 14 year old dog yeah motherfucker tail still wagging <laughs> hit the tail wag you got you got to brag <laughs> All right, that's a good point. To end. <laughs> <laughs> so Jake's talking about fifteen-year-olds still wagging and bragging. <laughs> Jake, Jake, John, do you want to say anything before we go? I'm all good, Mike Ron. <laughs> Why'd you call me that? Don't ever. No, is mine out too? <laughs> All right, my my crown was out, so I apologize to everybody watching this at home. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. If you're watching this on Patreon, thank you for becoming a patron, brother. We got even more wild shit lined up for you. We added movie watch-alongs to our repertoire for our patrons. What else we got? We got AMAs Live coming AMAs, out next month. Book extra club. episodes. Book club. Yeah, the book club is, is in March. Episode. Yeah, we're doing that. We March, March coming up. Ha! March Madness, baby. Ha! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Book club, AMA, bonus episode, something else. Some, oh, maybe some, We, we got to keep some things as oh, surprises. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm planning something for each of you that I think I'll have completed in April, but it's a project that only I could work on alone. God, that's terrifying. And I'm going to release it. I'm going to film it myself, and I'm going to put it out, and you guys are going to be so proud of me. Okay. Okay. I'm just giving you the heads up that it's coming. It's something that I'm working on a lot, that I'm putting a lot of time and effort into, and you're going to view me in an entirely different light. Oh, that sounds so, exciting. After seeing Burn After Reading, as you suggested during the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood watch along on the Patreon all I can think of when you say you're making a project on your own is the thing that Brad Pitt or uh, yeah George Clooney was inventing for his wife. <laughs> you know, it's not that. You know, no. It's me furthering my skills in some way. Okay, I love it. Yeah, you're you're gonna love it in an instant. But thank you for joining the Patreon. If you haven't joined the Patreon yet, consider doing so. It's four dollars a month or forty bucks for the year. We are promising even more fucked up moronic shit in addition to some very fun cool stuff so join us in any capacity whether it's on the patreon in the afterlife in a dog casket wherever you want to join us we're happy to have you at an amish mortgage borg Ooh, that would be fun you already did that but i'm talking about with dead pets <laughs> <laughs> they let they let you eat free if you bring in a kitty casket <laughs> I have to double check on that, but I think that's the policy there. Yeah, you might want to triple check on that, dumbass. All right. Love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>